how are you? I hope you're well. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope the audio isn't too bad because I'm not using a microphone or anything. Because anytime I use a microphone and use my computer like to record at the same time, uh, it just doesn't work. <laughs> so hopefully it's not too bad. Today we are doing something that I have been saying I'm going to do forever. Um, mm -hmm. even before I started my channel, I was like, if I start, like, when I start a YouTube channel, this is what I'm gonna do. Um, and then I never did it. And I know, listen, I know I kind of missed the whole, like, making fun of Riverdale bandwagon. I know I miss that bandwagon, like, people, people have done that, you know, over and over and over again. But, like, here's the thing. I don't know what the thing is. I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna do it anyway. My, my hair is sticking up. That's awesome. Okay, whatever. And like, you know, I've watched Riverdale many times actually, which is embarrassing, but it's true. I've watched Riverdale like, well, I haven't watched the last season because I haven't even finished the last season because it's that bad, which is really saying something because I've watched Riverdale over and over again. I called it my sad show for a long time because <laughs> Whenever I was sad, I would I would just watch it because it's like, hey, I might not be doing the best, but at least I'm not Riverdale, you know what I'm saying? So we're just gonna get into it. Let's begin. <laughs> Our story is about a town, a small town, and the people who live in the town. From a distance, it presents itself like so many other small towns all over the world. Safe, decent, innocent. Get closer though, and you start seeing the shadows underneath. The name of our town is Riverdale. The story begins, I guess, with what the Blossom Twins did this summer. Only Cheryl Blossom would go to a lake in high heels. Only Cheryl Blossom, she's the only one. Because I don't know if you've ever been in high heels and anything uh, like other than like concrete or hardwood but they don't they don't actually um work they in fact sink into the ground so you know i appreciate her dedication to the aesthetic you know i appreciate that i do jason and cheryl blossom drove out to sweetwater river for an early morning boat ride are you scared jason <laughs> Okay, we are- how many- we're 55 seconds in and I've already paused twice. That line has always bothered me. Are you scared, Jason? And then he just stares at her. And he does shake his head, but like he just stares at her. You weirdo. Say something, say no. Him, like the way he just looks at her is just so weird. It's so weird. <laughs> His stance? Why was he like that? Oh my gosh, his little V legs. Why was he like that? Oh my gosh. Came upon Cheryl by the river's edge. Jason. Riverdale police dragged Sweetwater River for Jason's body, but never found it. If he is dead, Hal, I hope in those last moments he suffered. Jason Blossom burn in hell. Alice Cooper is so out of pocket. Just every- like, there is not a single season that she is not saying something absolutely wild. Also, knowing the context of all of this, there is no reason- There is no reason to hate Jason Blossom as much as she did. Like, she know like, like, the story that they tell, like, Betty is that he, I guess he didn't treat Polly very well or something. I can't really remember. It's been a very long time since I've watched Riverdale. But, you know, knowing the real reason of why, it just doesn't make any sense to be that, like, vindictive. To be like, oh, I hope he burns in hell. He's a child. Oh my gosh. And Jason's death was ruled an accident. But Cheryl dropped a glove in the water, and Jason reached down to get it, and accidentally tipped the boat, mm -hmm. and panicked, and drowned. Now brace yourself, the apartment's small, paid the tear, but quality, quality always. 
forgive me, but... I hate rich people so much. I don't actually, but like, that attitude, it's small. It's not. It's not. We see the apartment. It's not small at all. Oh my gosh. I think part of my problem is just, I, I, like in this first, I feel like in this first couple episodes, I just can't stand Veronica. There's, I, I don't know, man. I'm not a Veronica hater, but like, I super am in the first couple episodes and definitely in the first couple episodes of the last season. That's like one of the main reasons why I haven't finished the last season is because she's just insufferable in the last season. I don't know, they destroyed her character, oh my gosh. She's just so annoying to me and I feel bad because I don't, I'm not trying to be a hater, but she's just so annoying. But like to call that apartment small, like I get it, they're like wealthy and whatever and you know, she's just, she's a rich girl, whatever. But it just, it's just so annoying, like shut up. What is a chocolate shop and why does it sell burgers? Do you see what I'm saying? Like she's so annoying. <laughs> Oh my god. What? Game changer. Archie got hot! Why is that a game changer? I just realized that line doesn't make any sense. Also, I was gonna say something about this anyway, like in a second. Um, that's super creepy that they're spying on him. Like, shirt when he's shirtless. Super weird. That's part of my problem with Riverdale. Like, I have a lot of criticisms, um, about like the the whole um oh what are the words this is why i script my videos because i can't think of words and i can't put sentences together but like it, i don't know just like the body stereotypes or whatever like he's supposed to be what 15 in this no 15 year old looks like that i don't care how much concrete you friggin dragged for your father's construction company no 15 year old is gonna look like that but whatever it's just weird that they're spying on him but no it, Whatever. Six more reasons for you to take that ginger bull by the horns tonight. Of my internship? The Tony- I just drew- I just drew fan art for, <laughs> for Riverdale. This is so embarrassing. It's just- it's just pops. It just pops, that's all. But I just drew it because it's so- listen, I like aesthetically pleasing things. And this show, honestly, like, the whole, like, lighting situation, I love it. I'm a fan of it. Morrison book release party I organized by far. At the end of the night, Toni Morrison, who is, as you know, my literary hero, yes, always says yes. to me, don't rush this time, Betty. It goes by so fast at your age. One summer can change everything. Wow. That's so true. Corny. I was working for your dad. It was pouring concrete every day, all day long. I said pulling concrete earlier. <laughs> pouring concrete, sorry. About my life and what I should be trying to do with it. Music. Will you ask Miss Grundy to tutor you? I'm not sure, maybe. What about football? Can you do both? I'll try out at least. Okay, we've established this, right? We established this in High School Musical. You can, in fact, be a sports dude and a music dude. It's possible. We can, we can, especially, ugh. Why is this still a debate? Why is this still a debate? I've been thinking about us, Archie, and our friendship, and how it's time for Hi. Hey. My mom and I just moved here. So. From where? New York. Wow. Do you guys go to Riverdale? We do. Yeah, we're Both sophomores. of us together. <laughs> Me too. I'm filled with dread. Why is that? Are you familiar with the works of Truman Capote? I'm... He's so not. That nod was like, I have no idea who that is. I fixed that Tiffany's, but this place is strictly in cold blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Betty, this coming year is critical for colleges. Grades are important. Extracurriculars, athletics, maintaining a decent character is hugely important they do look at that mom i'm a sophomore yeah that's not true junior year is when it gets important i'm pretty sure i don't think they really care about your senior year i mean no, they do care about your senior year your sophomore year i don't think i mean maybe some like super pretentious schools but like a lot of schools don't even take like i mean they will take sats but they don't require sats anymore 
I don't go to college though, so, or I didn't go to, I haven't, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Did you tap some cougar ass this summer? So what's the social scene like here? Any nightclubs? I want to remind you, they're sophomores. How old are you your sophomore year? How old was I? 15? 16? I think you're turning 16 in your sophomore year. So they're, they're, this is the beginning. So they're probably around 15. Who goes to, like, I don't, well, maybe it's just me. I'm not a big, like, party person. I don't think I've ever actually been to a party, if I'm being honest. Or a club. <laughs> Shoot. Veronica Lodge, Kevin Keller. Veronica's new here. Kevin is gay. Thank God. Let's be best friends. Excuse me. This is a closed rehearsal? I'm sorry, I... Josie, right? Mm -hmm. I was hoping I could talk to you about some songs I wrote. Let me just stop you right there. You're staring at our pussycat ears, which is rude, but let me break it and then down for you. The pussycats are building a brand, creating a signature look, okay? We're telling a story. Let's continue telling our story with songs we write. I get that. It's just... Read my glossed lips, Justin Ginger Lake. Not gonna happen. She didn't... Okay, like, first of all, saying like, Oh, you're staring at our cat ears, that's so rude. If you're wearing cat ears, people are gonna look at them. Like, it's just, it's just gonna happen. Like, also, if you're building a brand based on this, don't you want people to see them? I mean, I guess if they're, like, looking at them, I guess if they're looking at them, like, like, ew, then that's rude, but he didn't even, he didn't even do that. I, I get her point of being, like, you know, she, I, I can't remember if she says it now, but I think she says it later, being, like, we've had to claw our way to the top or whatever, which I get, you know, I get, but, like, don't be, just, like, like tone it down a little bit, you know? I hate it when people are so pretentious. There's Audie Ruiz last night. Mm -hmm. The red-headed Ansel Elgort. Is he your boyfriend? No, no we're just straight. Friends. <laughs> in that case, mind putting in a word? Mm -hmm. I've tried every flavor of boy but orange. Actually, to clarify, Betty and Archie aren't dating, but they are endgame. You should short life on this mortal coil. Thank you. Hey. Archie, what are you doing walking in this heat? Uh, building character. Do you want to ride? Boo. Miss Grundy sucks. Ugh. I've literally been filming for over 30 minutes and we just now got to the um we're 13 minutes in and we just now got to the opening like credits whatever what, whatever it's called the opening theme oh my gosh uh, can we talk miss grundy please it depends about what music you're the music teacher can we talk about music of course alexa play your power by billy eilish We'll have to tell them that we knew each other. That we even dated for a little while. Well, at least until I chose the rich kid. And now a reversal of fortune. Sounds like he's still bitter about that. <laughs> you chose the rich kid. Um, it's not like you got married and had a kid of your own. Now he is like separated from his wife, but still, that's so funny. We dated for a little bit. Yeah, and you chose the rich kid, bitch. Is that your thing? Music? Are you doing something with that? Yeah, that's the plan. I don't understand how he's so confident in this. Like, music is an insanely difficult industry to get into. I think artists make less than a cent off of a stream f from Spotify. I don't understand how he's so confident in that. Just the fact that he's so like, yeah, that's the plan. That's what I'm gonna do. I only just now started, but that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I mean, you know, you gotta, you gotta respect it a little bit, but I'm very concerned for him. <laughs> I am senior captain of the River Vixens. I'm always confused about Cheryl's, Cheryl's grade, what grade she's in. Because Polly is Betty's older sister, and I 
thought maybe this was an assumption on my part but i always thought that jason was like the same grade as polly but jason and jason and cheryl are twins but cheryl seems like she's still she's in the same she's like a sophomore with the rest of them right i don't know maybe she got held back or something last year when i tried out cheryl said i was too fat two season five betty draper it was a great line <laughs> but not at all true well Kevin, kind of a real one for that. Uh, there's a meme going around about like when somebody insults you but it's creative. Um, he's kind of a real one for being able to be like, yeah, that, that was messed up, but it was so funny. Like, <laughs> either he's a real one or he's toxic. I don't know. If this is you trying to restart something that never should have started in the first place. No, it's not. It is about the music, but it's also... Come on, I need to be able to talk about what happened with someone. We heard fireworks. Ms. Grundy is so toxic. She's gaslighting him. <laughs> We're blue and gold. We're dying, no might. We'll take you down. Ladies, where's the heat? Where's the sizzle? I need girls with fire on my squad. I know what you need, Cheryl, because I know who you are. You would rather people fear than like you. So you traffic in terror and intimidation. You're rich, so you've never been held accountable. But I'm living proof. That certainty, that entitlement you wear on your head like a crown, it won't last. Eventually, there will be a reckoning. Or maybe that reckoning is now. And maybe that reckoning is me. Betty and I come as a matching set. You want one, you take us both. You wanted fire? Sorry, Cheryl, bombshell. My specialty is ice. Pop off, queen. You tell her. <laughs> Honestly, that wasn't even bad. Like, man, it wasn't a bad line. She seemed pretty badass. I don't know. Sue me. Sue me, okay? I told you I'm not a total Veronica hater. Just mostly. <laughs> oh, that was pretty good, though. When my father got arrested, it was the worst thing ever. You get letters and emails saying that dad was a thief, my mom was a clueless socialite, and that I was the spoiled rich bitch ice princess. And what hurt the most about it was the things the trolls were writing were true. Does that make them trolls then? Veronica, you gotta update your, uh, it's not a troll if it's true, right? Whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm getting hung up on things that don't matter. When Polly and Jason got together, and things got super intense and weird and toxic, and my mom turned on Polly. She said Polly wasn't her daughter anymore. She said all these awful things to her. Okay, one thing that confuses me, spoilers, but if you're here, I'm assuming you know, um, Polly and Jason are cousins, right? And you know, the you know, there's there's um there's beef between the Blossoms and the Coopers, right? Like uh, uh, Betty's dad changed his last name. He changed their last name because there was so much beef. Are they brothers? I feel like later they say that they're not, but they're cousins. So I guess they are. I don't know. Whatever. They're they're related. They're blood related, right? Um, at that point, like you gotta tell you gotta tell them. You got like you can't not tell them. If your your child starts dating their cousin unknowingly, you have to tell them. You cannot you can't not be like, hey, that's your cousin. By the way, you're blood related. Like, don't ask. There's a feud, but you're blood related. That is completely on you. Like, the incest babies are completely on you at that point. And just being toxic about it, how did they not tell them? I don't under I just don't get it. I don't get it, man. How did you put a family feud over the possibility and end result of having incest children? How do you do that? Just tell them they're cousins. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway. No, I'm not really in, in the headspace for a dance. 
Oh, that's okay. Totally unacceptable, Archikins. We need an escort. Take a break from being a tortured musical genius and come spend a blissful evening with not one, but two newly minted river vixens. Okay, I don't hate Veronica as much as I thought I did. <laughs> she says some cringy lines sometimes, but I actually am kind of enjoying her character a little bit. <laughs> I want to write music. Football takes you to college. College takes you to business school. Business school takes, takes you me back here to work for you in Riverdale. Not for me, with me. No disrespect, Dad. No disrespect, but your company sucks. Hold on, it's me. Okay. Everything's changed. This summer... This summer what? This summer I was groomed by my teacher. I would never force you to play football. I love that he says, like, I would never force you to play football. Even though, what, 30 seconds ago, he was like, football takes you to college. And college is business school. Um, and then you have my business and it's it's just like okay well 30 seconds ago you were kind of making it sound like you're gonna force me to play football but whatever well it's not the med ball what did you think it was gonna be it's a high school dance oh my gosh this is why veronica we, I have a love-hate relationship with her. What are you talking about? That was so aggressive of me, but like... Well, it's not the Met Ball. Yeah. It's a high school dance. It's not even like prom. What is this? Is this homecoming? Why is this so early in the year? Didn't they just start school? Why is this so early in the year? Anyway. You will not believe who just propositioned me in the bathroom. To give you a hint, his name may be Moose, but I describe. That was so much information that nobody needed to know. What, Kevin, my guy, I didn't need to know that. It is my great pleasure to introduce this evening's main entertainment. Though they usually perform their own material, tonight they're making an exception and debuting a cover of the song my parents claimed they were listening to the night Jason and I were conceived. This show is the weirdest show ever. Why would you want to know that? Bro, what? Why? Why would that even come up? What? Oh my gosh. I'm worried, man. Okay. Yeah, yes, yeah, so I'll study with Mr. Lee before school. Football practice after school. Okay. Working my dad on the weekends, studying nuts. As long as you don't give up your passion. Now that I'm a river vixen and you're gonna be on varsity football, I have this fantasy of us as a power couple. Or maybe even just a couple. Betty. That might possibly be the worst reaction possible. One of the worst reactions to telling somebody that you like them. Betty. Oh my gosh, I think I would die on the spot. Betty, ew. Why would I date you? <laughs> I get it because they're best friends or whatever and don't want to ruin the friendship, but oh my gosh, that's like, that's so, why would he, why would he do that? Like, Betty. Oh. I'm in the mood for chaos. We're going old school tonight. Seven minutes in heaven. Who wants to tryst in the closet of love first? Is that what that Fall Out Boy song is? I was about to make a Fall Out Boy reference, but I can't remember if that's what the actual name of the song is. And tonight. Um, I'm not doing this. That's up to you. But if you don't, House rules decree the hostess gets to take your turn. Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like Cheryl going into the into the closet with Archie is not as bad as Veronica. Because Veronica Veronica and Betty are friends. Like Cheryl and Betty aren't friends. Cheryl's like the, the classic mean girl right now. So like there would be that like awareness of like, well, you know, Archie doesn't actually like her, you know? But Betty, like, kind of gets the vibe that he likes Veronica, right? Didn't she get that at Pops? So, like, I just like overanalyzing things, okay? We shouldn't do this. We definitely shouldn't do this. We 
shady bitch. Crap, Betty Sal is off. I'm getting an Uber. Can I come with you? We should probably try to find her. Believe me, the last thing Betty wants is us tracking her down together. We messed up. Hey. Hi, Marley. How was the dance? We need to find Betty. Go straight home. <laughs> it was midnight when my old friend Archie Andrews arrived at the one place in town that was still open. He was looking for the girl next door. Instead, he found me. What are you working on? My novel. It's about this summer. It's in Jason Blossom. 17 years old, and how will he be remembered? As captain of the water polo team? The Aquaholics? Considering how he died, probably not. Whatever happened, just mm -hmm. talk to her. Would have gone a long way with me. I'm asking you now, right now, if you love me, Archie. Of course I love you, Betty. But I can't give you the answer you want. You are so perfect. I've never been good enough for you. I'll never be good enough for you. I hate that answer. I hate it so much. You know, sometimes people just don't like each other, you know? Like, sometimes it just, it, it's just like that. And that's fine, you know? Sometimes somebody doesn't like you back. And that, you know, it sucks. And it's gonna hurt, but that's fine. But the fact that he's like, I'm just not good enough for you. I feel like I'm gonna regret saying that. Like, I'm gonna change my mind later on that but like i don't know just being like Ugh, i'm not good enough for you you're so perfect a better answer would have been like i don't want to ruin our friendship or like i just don't have those feelings for you but making excuses like that doesn't help like she like she can see right through that you know maybe i'm wrong for the record i'm not gay <laughs> obviously not most you're on the football team i love how this guy is like I love how he's like, I'm not gay to Kevin. Like, all right, bud. See what happens? Dude, are you okay? There are strangers in my heart. Oh my God, Jason, he was shot. By morning, everyone would be talking texting, and posting about it. Okay, so like this first season is not as wild as the rest of it. Like, like season three is when things get real crazy. But like season one is such a classic, you know, it's a good start. I've seen a lot of people say like, oh, season one was good and then it went so bad. Um, I have to disagree. I don't even really think season one is all that good. I mean, it's better than the rest of them. Season three. Did I say season one? Whatever. Um, season three is my favorite because it's so wild. I like, and that's when I really start to feel like that the writers just started writing like whatever they wanted um, without like caring about anything just to see how far they could actually get you know just to see how wild they can make it before they get canceled um and then it, they got canceled in season seven so yeah that was episode one so fun so drama on it like okay so it's been a long time since i've rewatched riverdale and I really remember like disliking Veronica's character. Like I know I hated on her a lot in the beginning, but she's not as bad as I remember. Like she has some cringy lines and she's very annoying at points when she like, or like her mom or whatever being like, oh yeah, the apartment is so small, but, and it's not, it's not small. It's not small. That's so annoying. Shut up. You don't know what small is, friend. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, some of the lines are cringe, but some of them aren't as bad as I remember, so yeah. Anyway, that was fun. I do plan on making this a series. Um, mm -hmm. We'll see how far things go with like like copyright and stuff like that. I just don't want my channel get, to get taken down. That's all that I'm worried about. Episode 1, kind of a classic, you know? Kind of iconic. Has some stupid lines in it. Yeah, I'll do episode 2 at some point, hopefully soon. The next episode has more Jughead in it, so it'll be better. <laughs> Jughead is the best character. 
yeah no Jughead is my favorite character that doesn't mean he's the best character but he's my favorite character because he's a weirdo he doesn't fit in and he doesn't want to fit in okay sorry thank you for watching bye